this far in the Champions League, but there is one more significant hurdle to clear, and that is the semi-final hurdle. Who's going to make it? Well, we should be in for a night of drama here at the home of Manchester City. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're getting down to the wire in the UEFA Champions League. Tonight, the first leg of the semi-final coming right up. It is Manchester City and they take on Arsenal. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Phil Foden plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Bukayo Saka plays with Leandro Trossard out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Well, if we're in the business of identifying potential match winners, we've got to look to Phil Foden. Stuart, what might we see from him in this game? Well, Derek, a brace last time out, but no real surprise that we're focusing on him. It's his movement for me, always active, always trying to find that yard of space. And I expect... Oh, they could be in here, Stuart! Oh, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Rodri. Walker just couldn't keep it. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Trossard. Said he did well to win it back. Walker. The ball with Rodri. Diesch. Manuel Akanji. On to Silva. Grealish. Really good ball there. And you can sense the threat is there. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Clear it, clear it. William Saliba. Ben White. And Habits. Partey. And here's Saliba. Martin Odegaard, Saka, Thomas Partey, and Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position, that's a very fine piece of tackling, good physical play, Bernardo Silva, Very alert defending to cut off the supply. And a throw coming up after that authoritative challenge. Farsi. Rice with it. Well, they have the ball once more. It's a promising City move. He's protecting it well. A chance to whip it in. Foden. On to Haaland. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Walker. Holland. On to Silva. Back to Holland. Really good build up, but no end product. And so the half time whistle is sounded here in Manchester.
So back underway here into the second half. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Well, that ball looks promising. Well, it did look promising, but no threat in the end. Didn't quite perform to his usual level in the first half, Phil Foden. I think that's fair to say, Stuart. Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. Crossar. Rice. And now with Crossar. Pivotal moment defensively. Foden. Walker. 30 minutes to go then. Walker now. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw in. Time for a change then. Tommy Yasu. Gabriel Martinelli. Arsenal being afforded too much room. Tommy Yasu. Thomas Partey. Rice. And defensive play to be applauded. Grealish. De Bruyne now. City move it forward with purpose. Twenty minutes remaining. Martin Odegaard and Havertz. Bukayo Saka. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Martin Odegaard and teammates to play it to. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Here it is now, a substitution. Walker. De Bruyne. Manchester City still on the attack as the minutes tick away. Can they come up with a winner? Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Declan Rice. Partey. Martin Odegaard. And return to Jesus. A danger here as he runs at them. But quick thinking defensively. Well, just listen to these City fans. They're demanding a winner here, and I wouldn't be surprised if they get it. Room to roam for City on the wing. Just the challenge that was required. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. And De Bruyne firing it over. Was it a great clearance? De Bruyne.
And there goes the final whistle. Well, we had goals, we had entertainment, but Stuart, it's all now a matter of what happens in the return leg of this semi-final. Yeah, it's been a really good contest. We saw some great attack in play, plenty of chances and some goals as well. Hopefully we get a similar game in the second leg. It's set up perfectly, isn't it? Well, whatever way you look at it, it wasn't Phil Foden at his absolute best, was it? Well, he struggled to get involved today, and I have to say, he just looked off the pace. Mind you, he was marked really tightly, so credit to the opposition.